Cormac Good, well, we're used to the ministers running out before we speak. It's a total disrespect, but they can't face the truth. The real truth is that this government has failed miserably in all their plans to build houses, and we have scheme after scheme rolled out, and we have this promise and that promise and the other promise, but nobody believes them. It's fake news, all of it now, because it's blunder and bluff. As I said before from the minister, we go back to the Rambo days, and that's what we do uh, with the bluff and blunder. They could build houses, they'd be mushing them up everywhere. But <coughs> I have no faith either in this motion here that Sinn Féin brought forward because the people outside are quite frankly sick and tired of what's going on. The gallery will be full tonight if people have any interest in this, uh, re this phony debate between two, people, two groups of people here that want to, it's literally it's playing politics with people's lives, with roofs over people's heads and everything else and it's most distasteful as far as I'm concerned. Our group in the Rural Independence have put down a number of amendments here to try and give solace to people, to try and give solace also to and to have fair play between the tenants and the small house owners that want to rent them out. I won't call them landlords, they're ordinary people. Some of them are accidental landlords, some of them are incidental landlords, and some of them have made huge investments of money that they paid tax on to buy a property to have it for a rental scheme. And what happened from the parties that have left here? Gok law on a demonize and attack them all as if they're evil land grabbing people and everything else. Go back to the days of the people days and the white boys. That's the, that, as if the people are like that. Decent people. We've saw how tens of thousands of them have left the market because it's not viable to be there anymore. And what happens? You've been proud of this, uh, this, this, uh, we've got advice from the Attorney General, I accept that. I know myself that people must have destiny over their own property. They're entitled to, people, I know people in Australia want to come back and move into their house, but they can't do it because can't get in and south, so it's not all on one side or the other side here. And fair play is fine thing with me, but there's not much fair play what goes on here. Plenty talk. If the left had their way here, and the hard left, they'd have take the houses off people that own them, the big houses of people, their parents live in them, and they have nothing to live, nothing left to live in. Robert,